friend of mine sent me this photo today, which um, I believe is of a man called Ludwig, um, who is a famous streamer, apparently. And he's doing some maths problem down here, but he looks a little bit confused about the maths problem. So I thought I'd jump in and help out, because that's kind of what I do, isn't it? So I've, I've written out this math problem. I think it's this. I think that's what it is. Um, this is the three lines we're looking at. Yeah, so let's get into it. It's actually not a very difficult problem, so I thought we'd do it with some style. Let's just take this equation and double it. Uh, right here, and then let's just do this equation minus this equation. So 100 minus 36 is 64, and this minus this, you just put a minus in there. But of course, that means that this factorizes. Um, it's, it's a nice square quadratic now. It's x minus y squared, because of course, when you expand this, you get x squared minus two cross terms, and then plus y squared. But of course, now we can just square it with both sides, except when you square both sides, we're going to get a plus and a minus eight. And so, actually, we might reflect on why Ludwig is looking a bit confused here, because what he's actually worked out is he's worked out this problem is not well defined. And there is no answer to x minus y. It could be plus 8 or it could be minus 8. We don't know. Um, so give him some credit here. He's worked out all that in his head and has done pretty well. Um, it would need some other information to define this problem properly and give us an answer. It could, for example, say x is bigger than y. Uh, and then we would know that if x is bigger than y, then the answer would be 8. Um, and likewise, if it was the other way around, it could be minus 8. There are other ways to do it, but well done for Ludwig for working out all that in his head and, uh, and realizing this problem is not solvable um, because it's not well defined. Um, yeah, cool.